Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video a series of videos where I take a look at some more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street guess what mouth's gone <laughs> anyway what do I have to eat this week this is something I saw in Iceland a couple of weeks ago but did not buy it because I was out of town and I didn't have a freezer bag in my car and uh, I was gonna be out of town it's quite a warm day um, for a couple of hours I don't like chicken semi, haha <laughs> I said semi, defrosting and then you refreezing it. Uh, but they did not have it in any of the Icelands around by me and then I found it today. I really am dying here. Just checking that my dog's still in the garden. Um, yeah and I found it by one around by me today and I really 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 wanted to try it because I have tried before in this video Iceland's chicken skewers but uh, they were just like marinated chicken. They were good. They, I think they were actually like chilli. I can't remember. Um, pretty sure they were only a three chilli rating. As you know, I don't get out of bed for anything less than a three chilli rating. Fortunately, this is a three chilli rating. But yeah, they were pretty, pretty banging. But then I came across these and it's four crispy salt and chilli chicken skewers and they're breaded and all battered. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out together when I crack these bad boys open. These are £3.50, which is a tad expensive if you ask me, but there is an offer where you can buy three of them uh, for a tenner. But basically, I'm all over shit like this. And look, you can actually air fry. Let's see if they've actually put air fry instructions and not just said consult your manual, because you know that shit and instruction. And obviously, they do. Now, let's have a look at the cooking instructions. Oven. Um, 200, 200 degrees Celsius, but we care not for the Fahrenheit. You know who else doesn't care for the Fahrenheit? I think you do. Robert, and Robert says hello. Hello. Um, Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark 6, 33 minutes. Or you could do it with an air fryer for uh, 1400 watts, 4 litre, 12 to 14 minutes. But it doesn't actually give you a temperature. So fail, because almost there, but ultimately fail. But at least you're kind of getting used to putting proper air fryer instructions on the bags. What are the ingredients? Chicken, breast, fillet, 61% water, the next ingredient, always about sign, wheat, flour, breadcrumb, wheat, uh, flour, salt, um, starch, potato starch, chili flakes, I'm just looking for the hot shit. Chili flakes is on the second, at the start of the second line down. Garlic, mm, not a fan of garlic. Like garlic, just can't stand the smell of it on me and or other people, therefore I don't fucking eat it. Um, all I can see is chili flakes, salt, black pepper, paprika, but that's all right at the bottom. They're the nutritional ingredients. Uh, read them if you want. I don't bother reading them anymore because I got a table and call Robert and he handles that side of things. Uh, so basically, let's crack into these bad boys. But before I crack into these bad boys, that's my rice for tea by the way. I don't know what that's doing there. Before I crack into these bad boys, do I have anything new in Eddie's bar? Welcome to Eddie's bar. Is this really something for Eddie's bar? Don't know, but not really sure where else I could put it. When I was in uh, the range today, and I got those from, uh, well, you know what the range is. Some ranges have a little Iceland of their own in it. Um, so I was quite surprised that those were in it because it's a very small Iceland. Anyway, they also had this. I did not know, Heinz uh, sandwich spread, by the way. Um, I did not know that this was still a thing. Uh, maybe it's a new thing and it's just come back because obviously retro is big money these days. This was £1.75 and it's 300 grams, but obviously it's Heinz, so everything Heinz is fucking expensive. But 
This was a sandwich spread that as a kid we absolutely lived on. You could argue that it's an incredibly lazy way to make sandwiches even back then. But I'm pretty sure if you're of my generation, Generation X, uh, then you have probably had this in sandwiches as a kid. And yeah, so I saw it. Like I said, if anyone knows, if this is a new thing that's come back just to capitalise on retro, then let me know. Because yeah, I'm all over that. Love that as a kid. Not sure what that is. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the weather. Also, look, there's my dog. All she does is destroy, <laughs> destroy plant pots uh, and that football and any flowers. She'll dig them up and eat them and then throw them up in the carpet in here. Anyhow, it's about 11 degrees out there. I've had trouble sleeping for the last few nights. I don't know why, but my body's just finding this really, really, really. We're only technically now properly into spring. However, apparently it's going to start pissing down tonight and tomorrow. And it's going to get, because all the weather people are going, oh no, it's going to be cold. It's been so nice. Fuck you. I love it when it does this. Um, it's going to drop down to about nine, eight, maybe six degrees tomorrow and stay that way to early next week. So I'm absolutely fine with that. Not sure why I've got a light going on on this camera, but... Who cares? So anyway, interesting things that have happened this week. So basically in the news this week, you have people from the national grid on talking about how there needs to be major, major new investment in the national grid to help uh, with the introduction of all this new green energy that's coming our way, apparently, and uh, is going to cost a massive, massive, massive amount of money. And the power company said that obviously they won't foot the bill for all of that, because obviously why would they? They can't dip into their dividends. That's got to go to shareholders. Paris have thought they fucking spend all their millions and millions and millions of pounds of profit uh, on upgrading the national grid, which is the bread and butter of what makes their fucking money anyway so yeah once again that means that green energy is going to put up the price of uh, energy once again it means that literally green hammers the poor anyway what's going on is basically uh, there's going to be an introduction I mean there's loads and loads and loads of uh, wind farms off the coast of Scotland you know that form of green energy that is basically it's shit it's not fit for purpose. You've got to turn the fuckers off when it's too fucking windy. Uh, and yeah, and they generate fuck all um, electricity. But there's loads and loads of wind farms off the coast of Scotland. I mean, that runs around the rest of the UK and stuff like that, but mainly off the coast of Scotland. Uh, and they're going to be introducing loads and loads and loads and loads more because this is what they want to do, the main quota of green energy uh, to be provided by these wind farms. But unfortunately, that means in order to get it into the, um, get the, into the infrastructure of the national grid and down to the south, they need to... It, build a shit ton of new and i mean a shit ton of new pylons to literally run down the middle of the country so what made me laugh about this is because they interviewed some of these people and these people are all green fucking idiots and sheep who were saying we don't want coal-fired power stations and uh, we don't want nuclear power despite the fact that nuclear power is the only real green energy form that can actually generate a substantial amount of energy and yes i know it creates waste but we can deal with that uh, yeah, and all this shit, you know, and fossil fuels. We don't want that. We don't want that. Uh, and then in the same breath, they were like, but we don't want pylons on my land because it's going to ruin nature. You're going to destroy the environment. And that's really, really bad. And it's like, oh, the delicious hypocrisy of the fucking green sheep, which is right. So you don't want green, uh, you don't want fossil fuel and all this fucking bad carbon producing energy. But at the same time, you don't want the pylons on your land uh, that will bring this energy from the green energy that you want into the national grid. Got to go somewhere, you fucking idiot. It's basically what makes me laugh about these people is they you want to eat from both sides of the fucking cake and you can't do that. And it annoys me because literally they'd be fine with this if it was in someone else's backyard. So basically, we want green power as long as someone else has to deal with the consequences and not us because I want to live in my lovely, lovely, lovely fields. Fucking rubbish. You can imagine how much I enjoyed when they uh, interviewed these fucking idiots who were, they were demonstrating, mind. They had placards and shit like this and they were demonstrating across all their green belt land saying, you know, you can't build your fucking pylons here. But like I said, they interviewed some of them and they were all fucking green sheep who were all for green power. And I just can't believe that they couldn't appreciate the irony in their own fucking statements that they were saying in their own one fucking breath. Couldn't make this shit up. Anyway, let's get back to these bad boys. Anyway, apologies for how dark it is in here, but obviously green shit. Uh, and I apologise for the noise of the boiler clock. Oh wait, don't care. But I did forget to tell you what I found in Crisp Corner today. Again, it was in the ranch. I had quite the eventful trip to the ranch uh, today. And it's Walker's new Max Ridge 
extra flaming hot. Now, I don't know if you've had Walker's, I don't think they are, Max. It says Walker's extra hot. Um, hot sauce crisps, they're fucking nuclear, like really fucking nuclear. Absolutely lovely. So these, these are in the same family of those, um, and they're extra, extra flaming hot. Then I am all over these. However, these were, hang on a minute, Max, extra flaming hot. The irresistible taste of Walker's Max is now extra flaming hot. That's it. That's a description of the flavour. Try these other extra flaming hot flavours. Those other flavours, they're flaming hot. Nice. All over that. Yeah, I think these are about £1.75. Better plug my air fryer in, hadn't I? Have I washed it? Yes, of course, because I haven't used it since last week. Right, let's crack these bad boys open. So, 12 to 40 minutes. Obviously, they're skewered. I might be doing them in the oven. I don't know if they're going to fit in there. If they're not going to fit in there, I might take them off the skewer, cook them, and then reinsert them on the skewer. But that seems like a lot of fucking work, doesn't it? Also, yes, I am aware that I'm wearing the greatest t-shirt in the world ever. You're welcome. First things first. Do they? Oh, yes, they do. I didn't even have to get my nose in there. They smell very pokey and delicious. Ooh, um. Could be promising. Let's have a look at the fuckers. Look at... Just. Just about. Look at that. Look at the colour. Oh, look at that. And there's a poke. There is a poke and a heft. Uh, what is it? There's only four in it. But that's all right, because I'm pretty sure I am liking that colour. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to get thumbnail. Nah, probably not. Um, two? Can only get two in there. Fuck it. And two buckets and two tears and all that shit. Oh well, uh, we live, we learn. Uh, if they're amazing, I'm just going to have to cook the other two once I finish the video. It is currently... A pinch after 20 past two. So you fuckers go in there. What was it? 12 to 14 minutes. So I'm going to do them on 190. I like to do everything 200, but usually do it up 180. What does it say? It says 200 for the oven, though, doesn't it? Fuck it. 200. Bosh. Stick this on four. Seven minutes. I'm sure you appreciate me showing me a do this stopwatch. Bosh. Seven minutes. I'm going to go next door. And what's great? Oh, but that's right. We've gone up. It was Great Continental Railways ended, and now we're back to um, Great American Railways, which is a kind of a shit title because basically half of the episodes are set in Canada, and they just say Great American Railways. I feel like Canada got the short end of the shaft on that one. Anyway, either way. If you never watch them, they're all on YouTube, watch it, it's an absolutely fantastic show, but then I like trains. Anyway, see you in a bit. I overcooked it a little, but I had to bribe my dog with a bone to stay in the living room, otherwise she'll just start barking, because that's what she does now, she just demands food. Because <laughs> she's done, and that's what they do. It smells absolutely resplendent in here, the smell is really, really really nice. Um, is there an overwhelming smell of chilli? Not necessarily, but obviously last week there was no dying. Overwhelming smell of uh, heat once I cooked those wings and there was a little bit of warmth in there. Look at that! I'm burning my fingers, motherfucker. Ooh, look how the batter's come up. It is batter basically and it's not... Oh, it seems to be right on both sides. Uh, it's not breadcrumbs. I'm still going to turn them. bucket I think this has potential I'm just gonna do them what did I get up to seven minutes 42 I'm just gonna do it for six minutes then on the other side I think will be a good one so Bosch uh, I'm just gonna cram in another six quick minutes of American um, great American railway journeys see you in a bit right so we've hit 14 minutes, uh, what time is it? It's quarter to three. Uh, it definitely smells a pinch more hot in here. I can definitely smell chilli now, and it smells absolutely fantastic, as I said earlier on. It smells amazing in here. Oh, hopefully, these won't disappoint. But, look at that, look 
fucking that. I, if anything, I would say I may have burnt my fucking fingers, overdone them a tad. I'm gonna bring you over. I'm gonna fucking die on my own salivation. I'm gonna bring you over so you can have a look at what they look like. I was gonna say I may have to let these cool down, but no, I won't, because I'm not a pussy. And when you burn your mouth, that's how men eat. Ow, 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 ow. I just wish I could have got them all in there at once. Maybe I should upgrade um, to a larger air fry. Safe to say that um, I've had my money out of this one. I think it was only a 30 quid one. But anyway, I'm going to have to wash this up now because my OCD will not let me wash it up later. On a random tangent, I don't understand why someone's turned the heating on. It's like fucking 12 degrees, not 11 degrees, 12 degrees outside. It's like fucking t-shirt weather outside. But, you know... Whatever. Right, let's try these bad boys. Now, for the purpose of this video, obviously, I'm going to eat them uh, in the nud, au natural, as God intended himself, uh, if he wasn't a fictitious character. Um, but, once I stop filming, obviously, I'm going to break into the hot sauce. I think they'll probably go really well. Where is it? With good old Vampire Slayer. This one is the boss. This is my third bottle. Unfortunately, there's only one place where I can buy it. And it's really rather quite expensive. Anyway... Picture. Product. Not bad, Iceland, not bad. Uh, what's my fire extinguisher of choice? Do you know what? I pissed through uh, all the cans I had of Diet Lemon and Lime by Tesco's, which I, I stand by my words, which is still the best lemon and lime, uh, you know, zero drink you can get. Uh, but I couldn't be asked to go to Tesco's uh, earlier on today, so I picked up Sprite Zero Sugar. And you know what, right? I bash Sprites, I really do, because I do think all the supermarket knockoffs taste better. But Sprite Zero is not without its charms. And if anything, I think the times that I drank Sprite and I thought, this is a bit shit, I'm not sure I like this, is I've accidentally not paid attention to the label, which is easy when you buy, you know, like the bottles like that. And I've drunk the um, full fat sugar version, because if anyone says you can't taste the difference, you fucking can, and the full fat version tastes like shit. Anyway, let's get into this bad boy. Two tears in a bucket, fuck it. First things first. Oh, there goes a little, a little tickle. But first things first, there goes a big tickle for a three chili rain. Third time to charm. First things first. I say this a lot on this channel, right, but, listen to that, um, you know, that's delicious batter, that's really, really light batter, that's really light batter, and it's absolutely delicious, uh, the chicken is really nice, it's really tender, it's not stringy, it's not fatty at all, well played, to be honest, Iceland's chicken is always pretty good, I've only had that much, and I've got a definite lick at the back of my throat, but the batter, drawling like a fuck. I know there's hot stuff at Iceland, but for chicken, I think we have a new contender for somewhere near the top. Just because that batter is amazing. It's not nuclear, it's definitely not nuclear. It's just, I've got a tickle at the back of my throat. I've got tickle, the tickle? The, the, the tingle on the end of my tongue. They're hotter than those chicken wings last week, definitely for sure. It's building at the back of the throat. But, and as I always say, I don't just do stuff for it to be hot. I do like stuff to taste. It's a balance. These taste fucking amazeballs. That batter. I cannot express. Again, I've said that a lot, but how good these are. Anyway, butter cleanse. Sorry, I'm thirsty. Yeah, no. Windy Pops. Oh, double windy pops. <clears throat> I know this isn't the way to eat them, but fucking sue me. Mm. You're going in. Prepare to die. These are amazing. Excuse me, babe. Oh dear lord. 
These are absolutely fantastic. Tongue's gone a little bit further back. Definite increase in the heat at the back of my throat. Again, not nuclear, but the taste. It's real tickle on my chest. I mean, it's only a three chili rain, but the taste. Amazeballs. Mm. Oh, play, guys. That's it. I'm buying a bigger fucking air fryer. We're going to need a bigger boat because I want to be able to cook all four of those fuckers at once because I'm eating this and it's just making me hungrier and hungrier. But seriously, stay. I did that with my mind. You can't see it anyway. Iceland ready cooked, crispy salt and chili chicken skewers. Three chili rating. Um, 350, a bit expensive, buy three bags for a, did that with my mind as well, buy three bags for a tenner, then you know, it's not too bad is it, but honestly, apart from sort your fucking air fry instructions out, although you can just cook it like mine, oh it's definitely getting up there, it's the back of my tongue now, um, this is, this is fucking premium chicken, I know you might say that's a bit of a fucking strong descriptive term uh, to use for Iceland, but fantastic, Winnie Pops, don't really recommend these, Anyhow, apparently they're brand new, so I'd love to know what I think, especially if you tried these, don't know if you had, because apparently they're brand new, but that might just be my Iceland. Thank you. Oh, God. See, they're so fantastic. I'm windy popping like a bastard. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.